Can I say something mm. about Elizabeth? I love sure. Elizabeth Warren yeah. very much, mm -hmm. and I think she would make a really good president. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe... I mean, maybe I'm in the minority with liberals on this. I don't believe that this country will vote for her because of two things. Number one, she believes in Medicare for all without private insurance. And I've said before, Americans don't like you to take anything away from them. We like having that. And she's put that out there. She needs to take that out and say, well, you can have it if you want as an option. Give Americans the choice. Mm -hmm. And number two, they must uh, uh, counteract Trump's lie that Democrats want open borders. Mm. And Democrats want legal immigration. They want people to come in legally the way we've done for the, since this country began, mm. starting with the Dutch, okay? And I think that those things need to be clear. Otherwise, Elizabeth is not going to capture the heart of the, of the, the heartland. Well, that is, always the pro yes. that is always the question, though, is how far left you run in a primary trying to win over the base of your party I know. versus how broad you can become in a general. And she, I would agree, there are things that a lot of people are saying, especially in that CNN climate change debate, that, I mean, I just, like, being in Republican operative circles, the ads are writing themselves. And I understand you're trying to win a against primary. Against Against Trump. Uh, no, again, like Trump's ads are writing themselves. But when I when I watch some of these things, oh, when you're yeah. holding your hands up saying, "I believe all illegal immigrants, excuse me, undocumented immigrants should have health care," and we don't care about that, there are ads that will hit the base of America that will be quite even, effective. Even if there is a reason for but that. But I understand. I get hit for saying you have to think about a general election. I understand yeah. that, like a primary voter who's you know a far progressive won't like that. But yeah. at a certain point, you're going to be running for all of America, not just the squad. Well, I also think. That, you know, if you look at some of the polls, I don't really, I don't even know why I'm saying that because I don't really believe in the polls anymore. But if you look at some of the polls, um, Senator uh, Kamala Harris is actually the person of color polling highest among Democratic voters at 7%, polling higher than Cory Booker, polling higher than Andrew Yang. And I think higher that you Biden? can, um, not high, p person of color. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Okay. But, but I also think that you cannot. Um, discount the african-american female voter when it comes to the democratic primary you yeah. cannot because That's true. because we do make candidates and we make primary candidates but and Biden so i was extremely well with that yes definitely i think that's true but um i i, I do not think that you can discount um Kyle i think Harris it's too at early point. i think yeah. everybody should just stop trying to discount and figure out what's going on you'll know when you know but yeah. you, you know you also like if you don't mind me saying you also like andrew yang you've like yes some of the but you, you have said. not heard me say i want him to be president no i have not no, no you have that is the so difference. for me i always feel it's important to listen and that's how you know because I would not have paid attention. But what he said resonated with me. And here's my wish. I wish the party would say, you know what? Here are five great ideas from five different candidates. This is how we think we can help America win again. That's what I want. I don't want to hear you coming down on this one. He's too old. He's too white. Right. She's too big. He's too fat. I want to hear any of that. <laughs> I want you to tell me how you're going to return me to having a little money in my pocket for working 9,000 hours a day. Right. I want you to tell me how you're going to help my family move, even if it's just this way. How are you going to help me move forward? Because all this other stuff is a lot of blah, 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 blah to me. It's like, yeah. you know, I don't hear it. What are you going to do for me as an American? That's what I there want. There is a lot of echo chamber. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want. I think that's what no. most Americans want, actually. I think so, too.